Good morning, YouTube, BookTube. This is Johnny. Hope you're having a good good day. Today is a Wednesday here in West Michigan, United States of America. It is February the 9th. It is 8.58 in the morning. My wife just left to do some errands, and I thought I'd take a break from writing in my diary and reading Jonathan Edwards on deification, reconciling Theos, Theos and the Reformed Tradition by James R. Saladin. Staladin. Really enjoying this. I've read almost half of it. I could, probably could finish it this morning if I wanted to. But as you all know, I read different things in the mornings. Each morning I change something. Yesterday I read The Life of Jesus Christ by Rudolf of Saxony and uh, I try to balance between Roman Catholic theology and Protestant theology since I am a reformed evangelical conservative Bible believing Christian. I, uh, so I got a book in the mail yesterday. Uh, I, I didn't know this was out and it was quoted in this book and I have many books in this series. It's called The Classics of Western Spirituality and I have I've been reading those for I started collecting them when we were in Houston, Texas when I was doing my internship. I told you I went, I'd go to a Catholic bookstore St. Mary's Bookstore in downtown Houston, Texas back in the middle 80s and there was a book published by Apollos Press, which is a Catholic publishing, and they've published this series called Classics of Western Spirituality. And I primarily bought them because when I was in seminary, I really took a lot of classes in church history. And it's good to have, you can read a, a church history, and they mention these church history figures like St. Francis of Assisi or St. Augustine or Thomas Aquinas or one of the Eastern Orthodox Fathers. But uh, what I wanted to read was their writings. <laughs> you like to read, they're mentioned in church history books, but you like to have their writings. And one thing about the, this series is they have they're edited by scholars within that subject matter or that person or that spiritual tradition or theology. They're, and they have great introductions. They analyze their theology, their spirituality, and they're very worth having just for that information. But one, before I show, uh, so this is the one I didn't know about, was this one, it was on Jonathan Edwards and his spiritual writings. I didn't know, this came out in 2019, and I didn't know about it. Usually I go to Paulus Press, their website, and see if they have any new ones out. That I don't buy all of them, but I have brought a lot of them over the many years I've been buying them. And I didn't know this existed until it was mentioned in here, in a footnote, because in this book, there is a, there is a, a treatise called True Grace is Divine on page 350, and it's, it's in here, and he's always referring to it in here, and it was a pretty expensive book. It was almost sixty dollars, which I don't really normally would kind of say I'm not gonna spend that much money for a book. But since I am an Edwardian, like I showed you my collection of Jonathan Edwards books and and it's been edited by Edwardian scholars and so it's it's worth it. It's worth having 
and if you're into Jonathan Edwards and um, so I've been reading it I've been I read the prelude I've been reading now this morning the introduction and then one of the writers his name is Kenneth P. Malkim Minkima Makima he wrote a general contours of Edwards spirituality so I'll probably read that this morning. So I got this in the mail, been reading it pretty steadily. So I'm kind of like in my Jonathan Edwards kind of <laughs> space right now. Uh, when I was at the Book Nook Monday, I found this at the Book Nook, and I have the collected works of St. John the Cross, but I showed you I've had this for many years. And uh, I just recently got this book. I've still been reading in context. T Teresa of Avila, John of the Cross, and Their World by Mark O'Keefe, OSB. But I never bought the one of St. John of the Cross in the classics of Western spirituality. And it came into the book nook yesterday, and I bought it. <laughs> I didn't buy, I never bought this because I had the collected works of St. John of the Cross. But this came in into the book nook, St. John of the Cross, Selected Writings, Classics of Western Spirituality, and it was uh, edited with an introduction by Kieran Kavanaugh, I can't pronounce his name, but he's the one that translated, he's one of the translators in here and the collected works of St. John of the Cross, and he edited this in the introduction. So I've been, I've been reading the general introduction, which is going to start... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Going into the life and historical context of St. John of the Cross. So I read that Monday at the Book Nook. So I got this. It's worth having. I mean, I would never buy it new, but it cost me $1.75. <laughs> so I've been reading the introduction to this, the general introduction, and then I'll just... Uh, I've been reading through the dark night. I, I, have, I have finished the, the Scent of Mount Carmel. And now I'm in the dark night. So I got that at the book nook. I also got this book in the mail. I've been buying books from this uh, Catholic publisher, Clooney Media. And the last week was uh, St. Thomas Aquinas Day in the Catholic Church. And they were promoting books on St. Thomas Aquinas, the great medieval... Catholic theologian, and I bought this one, The Angelic Doctor, The Life and Thought of St. Thomas Aquinas by Jock Martin, and uh, so I, I've been looking at this. I haven't really got much into it. I think I've read just a little couple of pages. There is a fellow who, who uh, follows me on Facebook. And he wrote, he's a, a, he raises cattle, and he wrote a little meditation book on the verses in Luke 11, 34 to 36. Your eye is the lamp of your body. When your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But when it is bad, your body is full of darkness. Therefore, be careful, lest the light in you be darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, Having no part, it will be wholly bright, as when a lamp with its ray gives light. So he wrote a little book of meditations, and he he wrote me a note in Facebook asking if he could send the book to me and when I read it and share my thoughts about it. So I got this in the mail from this fellow. His name is J. Edward Ish. And I've been reading this. For in the, and off and on in the evenings. 
So I've been writing in my diary this morning. I'm on page 133 for uh, the year 2022. Like I said, it's a Wednesday morning. As far as what I've been reading secular, uh, I'm still reading that Natalie Goldberg, The Long Quiet Highway, Waking Up in America. This is a memoir by a woman who is a writer and teaches writing and she is a Zen Buddhist. I mean, she practices Zen Buddhism. She's into Eastern religions and so she brings that in in this memoir. I got these two books in the mail and I haven't read them but I just bought them because they were on sale. Taking a Long Look, Essays on Culture, Literature, and Feminism in Our Time by Vivian Kornick. I don't know if I've shown these, but I can't remember right now. And then I got this novel used called The Encyclopedia of a Life in Russia, a novel by Jose Manuel Priente. This is translated out of Spanish. She's the one who did those, that, uh, Esther Allen, translated from Spanish from Esther Allen. She, uh, she's, I have other books that she's translated out of Spanish that I can't remember right, right now, but I picked this one up because it looked interesting. Still reading Nakanami's Thrift Shop by Hiroami Ko, Ko, Konami, Konami. Still reading uh, the manuscript of Ser found in Saragossa by Jan, John Jan Pol Polakskit. I, th I think I showed you this book. I got the book nook last week. The Edwardians by V. Saxville West. I've been reading this off and on. It's published in 1930. It's a really old book. I've been reading it. So these are the kind of things I read when I'm not reading my Christian books. So the days go by, I, uh, I, go, I went to thrift stores yesterday, I went to Blue Stockings Bookshop, I have in-store credit there, they're expanding their store, and I bought some books on store credit, which I'll show in a future video. I still have the Book Nook Book Haul, the books I've been buying there, they're stacking up, and uh, well, one of them I showed to you, I bought... I bought, yes, I bought this one at the Book Nook Monday. And I bought some other books. But I'll show those in a future video. I just thought I'd stop by this morning. It's a Wednesday, what I've been reading throughout the week. What I'm reading in the mornings for morning worship. But reading Jonathan Edwards, select his spiritual writings. Yeah, in here is his... Uh, Just excerpts from the faithful narrative, surprising work of God, excerpt from the account of the life of the late Reverend Mr. David Bernard, spiritual enjoyments and comforts believers have through Christ, uh, a treatise concerning religious affections, excerpts, spiritual appetites need no bounds, saints often miss sweet communion with Christ. It just goes on and on. The third part three is on beauty, the sweet harmony of Christ, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, it looks like a really good resource, a good book to read for devotions, a good book to have in your library. If you don't have those two massive two volumes, Ban Banner of Truth, the works of Jonathan Edwards. Of course, you can always buy a paperback edition of his Religious Affections, you can buy, there's all kinds of editions of Edward's works. You can buy his sermons in paperback and 
you can buy Religious Affections, his books on revival. Uh, he's very popular in Christian circles, the writings of Jonathan Edwards, the great American theologian. You know, one thing I didn't realize is when he uh, when he was alive, America was still the British colonies. <laughs> they, the the uh, if I remember correctly, the American Revolution hadn't taken place, and uh, I could be wrong, but. So that's what's going on here in my book life. Um, I'm hanging in there. Just trying to keep my eyes on the Lord and writing in my diary, reading my books. Yesterday, like I said, I went to thrift stores. Well, I went to the Blue Stocking books, Bookshop, and then I went to Salvation Army, and then I went to... Then I went to, I put gas in my old Dodge van, which is going on 30, my van's almost 30 years old. <laughs> and then I went for a hike at Van Rolsey Park. I, I posted that video of that stream flowing through Van Rolsey County, uh, County Park. And then I went to the Gateway, uh, Gateway Center thrift store, and I bought some books. One of them I, I had cataloged already. It was a, but one I had cataloged was a paperback. And I found a hardback, but I'll show those used books in the future. I just want to stop by, say good morning. Have, hoping you're having a good week. Thank you for the comments. Do pray that you're doing well, and that you are. Um, that I'll probably make a video about in the future about those used books and what I got at the. Blue Stockings Bookshop here in Holland, and uh, yeah, someone is interesting. I was at when I went to the Blue Stocking Bookshop. Uh, Amy, who who runs the store and owns it, she said you got a letter. <laughs> someone had sent me a letter, and they used the address of Blue Stocking Bookshop, so they could because they didn't have my home address. So that, and Amy said, you got mail. So I had this letter from a subscriber in, I think it's Iowa. And uh, I hope if you're watching, thank you for the letter. I will respond to it hopefully this week. And uh, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for new subscribers. And until next time, bye.